have an alpha particle that is on a collision course with a stationary particle y. After this elastic collision, the alpha particle is scattered at an angle of 65 degrees, whereas particle y is scattered at an angle of 25 degrees. We need to find the final momentum of the y particle. It is crucial to remember that momentum is a vector quantity and it's conserved separately in each direction. The easiest way to tackle this problem is to notice that the initial momentum is purely horizontal, meaning that the initial y component of the momentum is zero. Well, we can resolve those two into their y components and by conservation of momentum they should equal to zero as well. Let's start off with the first one. So the y component will be a vector here and it will be given by the mass of the alpha particle times v, which in this case is 258, times the sine because it's the opposite component, so sine of 65. The y momentum of this particle here will be given by its mass, I don't know, let's call it my, multiplied by some speed that we don't know, times sine of 25. And those two quantities are going to be equal and opposite. Notice that what we're really looking for is the momentum of the y particle. Well, that's just its mass times its velocity, so I can rearrange this equation for myv. And what I'm going to get is that myv will be equal to the mass of the alpha particles times 258 multiplied by the sine of 65. Divide that by the sine of 25. Luckily, we're given the mass of the alpha particle also in your formula booklet if you're doing A-level physics so it'll be 6.64 times 10 to the power minus 27 times 258 times sine of 65 divide that by the sine of 25 degrees and if we put this into our trusty calculator we are going to get 3.67 times 10 to the power of minus 24 kilograms meters per second. Please know that you can totally solve this problem by conserving momentum in the x direction as well, but it's just a tiny bit harder because we have some initial momentum in the x direction. Now this question right here was a common mistake and that is one of the best ways to ensure that you get maximum grades on the exam and this is precisely why you should have a look at this video next. Enjoy!